Hello friends, uh, welcome back to PepiPost tutorial series. So today uh, we are going to discuss on how to send an email via Gmail SMTP server. So uh, if you are writing a PHP program and uh, within your program, if you want to send a email uh, and for that you can connect to any of the SMTP server, whether it's Gmail or uh, any other uh, email provider so you can connect any of the provider and you can send uh, email so in this particular uh, tutorial series we are going to primarily discuss about how to send email from your php program using a gmail smtp server so uh, we all know that uh, gmail smtp is mostly free uh, for its initial uses like uh, around some uh, 500 emails per day you can send for free so that, that is because uh, why gmail smtp is so popular among the developers uh, when they want to send email uh, using their php program but there are certain challenges in gmail smtp uh, because of which uh, it doesn't send email in its first go so there are some certain settings are there which once you do in your gmail account you will be able to send emails so let's first do those settings after that we will see how to write the code to send email so if you go to your google account security settings so like uh, as i am showing in the screen here so in the accounts uh, security settings there will be a feature known as two-step verification so what you need to do is you need to disable this particular uh, thing so if it is enabled because if you keep this two-step factor uh, authentication enabled in your account then what will happen is when your program will try to send email using the gmail it will ask for the two-factor authentication it, it will ask for otp or whatever and then your program will not be able to send email so keep this feature disabled then the second thing there is a feature known as less secure app so what you need to do is you need to turn on this so once you turn on this this primarily means is you are allowing a external program that is your code to connect to your gmail account to send email so if it is this is not turned on then you will be not able to send email so these are primarily two settings which if you have done in your gmail then you will your, your gmail smtp is ready to send email so now let's move on to the code so in case of PHP, the most popular library for sending email is PHP Mailer. You can use core PHP also. Uh, there is a mail function which you can use to send email. But in this tutorial, I am using PHP Mailer to send email because it is one of the most popular and easy library to send email in PHP. So just download the PHP lab, uh, Mailer library from here. I have shared the link or you can directly go on GitHub to download the link also. So you can use the composer uh, to download the entire module like uh, it is shown in the screen here. So the next step uh, is to write, start writing the code which can make the SMTP connection and uh, to send the email. For that you have to include these packages, the PHP mailer packages like the exception.php, phpmailer.php, smtp.php so these are the packages which you have to include so php mailer by default comes with a sample example code also so you can directly use that code to send uh, a particular email so here i am explaining that entire uh, example code in this tutorial so in this example code which you will get in the php mail uh, php mailer library so there is uh, one uh, there are certain variables are there where you need to pass the smtp details like the port number host name username password so here keep the port number as 8587 uh, as a host will be smtp.gmail.com because you are connecting to the gmail smtp server your username will be your gmail uh, email address so whatever your email address is uh, let's suppose the bad gmail.com so you have to mention that here this is will be your gmail password so once these details are mentioned the smtp uh, is ready so if smtp secure uh, variable is not set you can set it to as tls also here so once these are ready uh, 
there are other parameters are there like uh, the uh, address from address reply to cc subject and the body so these values you can uh, enter here so the recipient of the email need to be entered in this add address so here you can mention the recipient email address and this will be recipient's name so for example uh, if you are sending email to mark at gmail.com so it will be mark at gmail.com here and uh, here you can mention his name like mark so name is optional you can pass or uh, you can skip this also similarly from so from will be your gmail address so keep remember this uh, if you are use going to use any other domain for example your company domain uh, example dibya at peppypost.com so you can't send email from dibya at peppypost.com to someone uh, to some other email address using your gmail account the from need to be your gmail address only so that you have to make sure otherwise the email will not go okay then reply to is optional you can uh, enter reply to here you can uh, again cc is optional here subject and body are uh, compulsory so you can mention your uh, subject mm -hmm. and here then content so the content can be html content or it can be plain text you can mention here so once this is done, so this is the program, uh, this is the particular function which sends email. So once the all the parameters are entered, you can run this program and you will be able to send your first uh, test email using Gmail SMTP. So here I have listed down few possible errors also in my documentation. So all these are there uh, in this particular link. So you can refer the link uh, I have shared the link below in the description so like these are the possible errors uh, one can be the email address uh, the recipient email address is in, invalid or you have not mentioned the password so I have given all the details in my documentation here so you can visit this particular document and you can refer step by step how to send email using Gmail SMTP server so uh, just click on the description link which is shared below if you have any questions or uh, if I have not covered anything related to this uh, particular installation or if you have faced something uh, which is not covered as a part of this document you can share your feedback below in the comments or you can also comment on this particular document also thank you so much bye bye